And we continue our team coverage of the protests for justice. Hundreds of people marched in Fairborn today. Two News reporter Kristen Eskow talked with some of the demonstrators there. The crowd gathered here at the Fairborn Library Thursday afternoon and made several laps around the downtown area as they marched peacefully for about two hours. Black Lives Matter! The demands for justice for George Floyd echoed loudly on the streets of Fairborn Thursday. My ancestors were slaves. They marched on the street with Martin Luther King. Um, and as this has unfolded, I felt it was my duty to stand up and speak out and not be quiet anymore. We just really think that if you stay silent, you're not doing your part and you really need to be part of the change. Yeah. Midway through the demonstration, a nine minute moment of silence on the sidewalk. I started crying because me just sitting there for that nine minutes, that was deafening. The silence was deafening. After the two hour march, some protesters made their way to Fairborn High School for Thursday night's school board meeting. This week, school officials say they received complaints about comments a high school teacher made on social media. As a teacher, you should be advocating for all of your students and you should be helping them. We are asking our teachers, coaches, and whatnot to live up to a higher standard. School leaders say the teacher, who is also an assistant football coach, is on administrative leave pending an independent investigation. I do hear many, many students and community members' frustration, and we will be addressing some things that we need to address on our end. The superintendent said he could not comment further on the investigation, but said it will begin soon. He says it's not clear how long it may take. In Fairborn, Kristen Escal, 2 News, working for you.